This is Andreas and we're here in Munich in the English Garden surrounded by nature and here we have Bagabundo Flex. I'm from Munich. I, I was I grew up around this area, studied here, also studied abroad, had some stages abroad. Finally, with two friends, uh, I founded the company Vagabundo Tiny House. The other two friends are Luca and Michael. Luca is our architect of the house, and Michael is also industrial engineer as I am. And now we're here. We have finished the first model house, and we're all happy, really happy with it. So this house here is called Vagabundo Flex. Uh, Vagabundo means freedom for us. It means uh, like a person which is roaming around, which is flexible, which feels the freedom. And the flex means it's a flexible home. A lot of tiny houses which we've seen before have been looking like very cozy, but not such stylish products, you know. And we wanted to build something which looks at the one side minimalistic but also futuristic but also welcoming by its materials which is mainly wood and and glass you see and there we come to the next part the quality right so building it by wood and building it also in germany so we build all of, of our products in germany makes a big difference to having it built i don't know somewhere else because the building regulations in germany are really high yeah let me show you around come with me um, yeah, so basically what you can see here, the whole tiny house is built on a steel frame construction. Once you want to transport it from A to B, the truck just goes underneath here and it connects with four of these twist locks. So you twist it around and it's safe and secure. It's like a container basically, but it's a house built out of wood. And you take those ones, the four pillars, put them in a horizontal way put them inside and you have a maximum width of 2 meter 50 feet but the house is quite quite tall we have 6 meter 20 of height at this house in Europe and in Germany we're not allowed to carry uh, transport around which is this high so we have integrated a lifting system in the whole one and in the four corners of the house basically in here we have a lifting system and you can take the top part the first floor down all the way down till here basically and then you have a fully flexible and convertible tiny house which you can transport easily and fast that's it yeah i'll show you some more details around right so as you can see the bottom we have covered with wood on the outside it is basically a wood frame construction as any house built on wood so it's the standard what you have in, in housing construction. You have a, a sustainable wood isolation in between. And on the top, the outside is a aluminium facade, which is really reflecting and interacting also with nature. So imagine we have a clear blue sky. The top becomes a little bit like a chameleon, the same color. Or we have a sunset. It gets a bit red and orangish. So yeah. It, it hides a bit in nature. <laughs> okay, um, let's continue to the back of the house where we have the electricity plugged in here. Um, yeah, so on the bottom we have the electricity and once you come around here, this is like the service door where we have all the utilities for hot water, electricity and everything else. So you don't have these things in your room. It's just nicer because they don't look as beautiful, so we hide themselves in here behind this door. Right, um, that's actually the, the wastewater where it goes out, which we haven't installed here because it's a model house. We've installed electricity, but once we uh, install it a fixed property, we also connect it with uh, fresh water and wastewater, but it has to be insulated a little bit because in winter it gets cold, not to get a cracked pipe or so. Right. Oh, another thing to add is, you can see, there's still some green underneath our house. You can storage your bike, eventually cars, depends on your size of the car. 
whatever else. If you have a lawnmower, if you want one, you can put it down there. You can also add a, an additional terrace in front of it to have some more space for whatever, a barbecue, whatever. And what is also possible, as you can see, with a crane, when you, are, when you arrive with the transport, you can lower the house to the very bottom so that you don't have to walk up. So it's also more suitable for elderly people, right? Now for a brief message from our sponsor, North One. So many of us dream about working for ourselves, but being a small business owner is tricky. We not only create all the content for our channel, but we have to manage all the expenses that go into it. And math is not our strong suit. Luckily, we found North One, a business banking platform for freelancers and small business owners. 100% designed to make banking and money management easy peasy. There's no need to go into a bank ever again. Manage all your banking online and apply for an account in just three minutes. You'll get a virtual and physical card to use for your everyday needs. It's more affordable than traditional banks with a $10 flat monthly fee. I love that there are no hidden fees and even ACH transfers are free. They go the extra mile with amazing customer service, high level financial advice, and features like envelopes to help you set money aside for upcoming expenses. Try out North One to manage all your business finance needs. Use our link to get $10 credit for your first month when you open and fund an account. Okay, I would say let's have a look inside and yeah, you guys can follow me if you want. Welcome to the inside of our tiny house. So we are here now in the ground floor and we have our dining room or our lunch room. We have a couch area. I show you how it looks like and how comfortable it is and how you feel connected with the nature around you as you can see. In summer, you can even open up these windows and then just take your feet, ah, breathe out, have a look around. Uh, that's enjoyable, huh? That's how life should be. No, it's the favorite place in our tiny house. Everybody loves it. All right, let's have a look further at the inside and close this window. Um, Underneath our couch, we have some storage opportunities. Yeah, whatever you want to store, additional blankets or whatever. Here we have the control for our electric heating system. Yeah, it's really nice when, when your feet get warm, right? Sometimes I lie on the floor because it's so nice and comfy. <laughs> Let's have a look on here. This is our yeah, lunch area or seating area. If you have friends over, yeah. The cool thing about our table is that it has a very good size. It's not too big, it's not too small. You can move it wherever, you can move it outside to the terrace. You probably have seen, we have a lot of panoramic windows. Yeah, you feel so much more alive and you feel the space is so much bigger than it actually is because inside here we have less than 2 meter 20 width and it doesn't feel like it, right? <laughs> Up here, you can see, we have a LED installed, uh, which goes all around here. We have this also in the kitchen and up top of the first floor. Let's have a look at our oven. Yeah, which fits perfectly inside. Some people think it's a TV, but it's not. The top part of our oven serves as a touchscreen, which you can use for automatic menus and we have also a self-cleaning mode within the oven, which is great. I would say from here on we go further to the kitchen area as it already started in here a bit. Um, we have our fridge in here. And some more storage over here. Yeah, which we have used now for different things at the moment. Um, 
underneath the sink we have a lot of storage for whatever trash or whatever here we have our sink have a look some special effects if you want to see we have some light in our sink some magic moments which you just turn on with a tap we have a lot of yeah of course different drawers for space for storing whatever you need for the kitchen we used oak wood as a finishing and here we have our induction stove with an integrated fume hood so it's actually not a hood because the fume as you can see is taken away to the bottom you can hear it now it's taking it all away i turn it off again for you guys um, so that you have a big space in front of you and you can really enjoy cooking here right in between the kitchen and the bathroom we have installed a sliding door which you just open like this and close like this again yeah so you have your privacy in your bathroom so here we have everything you need we have a wash basin we have some storage underneath here which you can slide off and close it again like this underneath here we have some space for a washing machine like you know those smaller washing machines a top loader washing machine whatever you need um, this is our toilet just a classic toilet yeah on top here you have all uh, a little bit more of storage you might wonder what this is we have the engine of our lifting system integrated in here um, this is the one engine the other engine is on the other side of our room all right i would say we have a look inside the shower as you can see it is kind of inspired by the first floor of our tiny house where we have also an aluminium facade and we have it now on the inside right and this is how you shower or you use the top one here um, however you want it i would say there's enough space to move around the bathroom is designed very smartly we have enough space for everything and yeah you are still flexible to choose how you want to have it yourself by putting all details as you want with this model the vagabundo flex the transport works as the following so basically you have to contact a logistics company uh, which comes with a truck and the truck drives backwards underneath the house it connects with four connecting points it's called twist locks on the metal changing frame and then you have the four legs of the uh, changing frame which you put upright as we have uh, height li uh, limitations in germany of four meters on the highways we have to put our roof down um, like the first floor we have to lower it with our integrated lifting system F for that all the furniture on the top has to be removed you can place it somewhere down here or better you just take a different car and transport it with it that's pretty much it that's how you uh, get it from a to b the flex model here which we are sitting inside uh, costs roughly in between 140,000 and 160,000 euros it depends just on which furniture you have inside which you want to include or not yeah for us vagabundo it's important that your uh, tiny house is individually made for you because after all your needs are different than the needs from others we want you to feel home in your house so whatever you want so this is our bedroom and also our shelter because you can see there's less windows around here you feel more uh, private up here and yeah if you want to look outside we still have that window here i show you come with me It's a round window, which you can open up like this and you can get some fresh air and enjoy the view outside. Yeah, very nice. From our bedroom towards the other side of our first floor, um, we have a big panoramic window, which allows us, us great views to the outside. Here we have our working desk, which is super flexible because we can actually double the size of the desk. I show you how it goes. So, first things first, put these things here. 
This one goes back here, and then, ta-da! We got a lot of space for all our needs. And also you can work two people on it, how you like. These things make a tiny house pretty modular in the end. As you see here, in the back, we still have some space left for like a wardrobe, storage for books, whatever you want. So far we have left the space free, so you can imagine your own dream inside the house. Here in our corners, like here for example, we have hidden our lifting system, which allows us to bring the first floor up and down, right? As an additional safety to our lifting system, we have installed several of these pillars out of oak wood and also this oak wood construction, yeah, just as a safety uh, redundancy to be on a safe side, but the lifting system itself technically holds the whole uh, first floor, so we are completely safe. On the top floor here, we have installed one surrounding LED stripe, as you can see here, as you can't really install other fixed structures on the top floors, as uh, it needs to be flexible. Because once we want to transport the whole house, the top floor will go down till 10 centimeters above the ground. And once this is done, we can transport the whole tiny house from A to B. So also on the top floor, we have a heating system. It's electrically installed and, you know, ah, so nice. You just want to lie down. I do it for you. Ah. Ah. This is how, how you should do it because you have a great view out of the panoramic window. You get warm from the bottom. Oh, it's almost like a sauna, you know. Uh, I love it. I could lay here forever on this warm floor because it feels so nice. Um, as you can see, we have a linoleum also as a floor, which is pretty sustainable because it is highly recycled. And I think this is very important for a tiny house because you want to have a sustainable house. And um, we did care a lot about the selection of the materials. Uh, we did a lot of wood installed in the house and a lot of materials which, yeah, which have uh, not a big carbon footprint. Our stairs are made from beech wood and many people love them because oh, they're just really comfortable. Yeah, as you can see, other tiny houses have lots and lots of small gimmicks. Here we have built a very minimalistic house, which you in the end can adapt to your own needs and you can still find it out your own way, how you want it to design. So in the end, you are the creator of your own house and this is just an example how it could be. It's your journey. I think tiny houses can be having the role of be part of the whole solution of our housing crisis, you know, because housing is expensive nowadays. Not everybody can afford it. And tiny houses is a solution or a part of least, at least of the solution to afford a living space so there's different ways to embed the, the like tiny houses within city planning or community planning. You can put it on existing properties, you can rent out properties and place several tiny houses on one property where normally just one house goes on it. The way to do it is, in Germany at least, or Germany, Austria, Switzerland, and I would say also other countries within Europe, that you have to first inform yourself in the community about the building regulations because some building plots uh, where there's already a regular house on it allow to have an additional house on it, at least with a certain amount of square meters. That's a way to do it. A lot of communities are getting bigger and bigger and bigger instead of using the already existing space. 50 years ago when you build a house you had a plot or your property with a thousand square meters on it and the house was, I don't know, taking off it maybe 200 square meters maximum and you still have the space for one, two tiny houses on it. So why not using this existing space? This is a big opportunity in my point of view. But there's also the other way um, to, to find your um, tiny house space or your property is to have a look at landowners who 
don't want to build their own house within the next 20 or 30 years and you contact them or we also do this for you we contact those landowners and you do a long-term rental for the property you buy the tiny house and you place it on it and after the contract lasts for example 30 years 20 years the landowner makes money with it by getting a bit of rent we the house owner pays a cheap rent for it and has the opportunity to be flexible after all to move his house eventually once you've finished your working career in your country to either move to a different country to a more sunnier country maybe in the south or to maybe move within your country to a different place this is the way we have to establish the housing market and the living market i would say to be more flexible because flexibility creates also sustainability because the more flexible you can use a, a space or a property the more sustainable it gets thank you for watching our video and for stopping by tiny house expedition I'm Alexis and I'm Christian don't forget to like comment and subscribe and for more tiny home tours and stories click the videos below and join us on Instagram for bonus content including face-to-face -face conversations with us <laughs> <laughs> we hope to see you there all right thanks guys have a good one